what is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching pay to drive and pay to drive vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video hope you're all doing fantastic out there ladies and gentlemen and if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on my friends that's right because it's free and you can stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy it's very simple and with that being said if you wouldn't mind hit that like button down below it just lets youtube know i'm doing a good job and let's jump into the email triple lindy thornton mellon style here we go all right so uh this right here comes from michael so michael says hey pete i was dashing the other day and every delivery i accepted seemed to have an issue I accepted three Walmart orders, $14 each, total of 18 miles. Uh, but each time I got to Walmart, the order was already picked up and had to spend a grand total of an hour on the phone with DoorDash uh, driver, driver care. Uh, the rest of the shift was similar with bad attitudes from customers and a downright unpleasant day. Have you ever had a delivery shift like this? And do you trudge on or end your day and start anew the next day? It's a great question, Michael, and I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Um, this is the first that I am personally hearing of Walmart orders being already picked up. Now, we know we've been seeing this happening uh, with restaurant orders where, you know, you go in and the restaurant says, hey, or that order was already picked up by another driver, you know, what's going on? Because as you should know, what a lot of drivers are doing is they're scamming the customers and the restaurants and DoorDash for that matter. They're taking a screenshot of the order. They're unassigning the order. They go in and they show the screenshot to the, the takeout person and say, yeah, I'm picking up for this person. They the, the takeout person hands the driver the order and then they walk out and eat the food. And then the next driver that has to pick it up goes in and then they get told that it was already picked up. So it's a scam. I don't know why dashers would do this, like just to get free food, you're gonna get deactivated. So what's the point, you know, but people are not nice, you know, people are, they do ridiculous things out there. Um, have you ever had a delivery shift like this? Yes, I. there have been many times uh, in the past where I would be, you know, on a block with Grubhub or whatever, or just out working in general, multi-apping, you know, between Grubhub and Uber Eats or whatever, and you know, Sometimes, sometimes, you know, it's best to just, you know, end your day before things get worse, go home, sleep on it, you know, have a, have a good dinner, just relax and chill out. And sometimes just like you said, start anew the next day, because there's, there's one thing in life that I've realized is if you have the means of doing that, take it. Because you make your own hours, you make your own money, you set your own goals. Because if you're stuck at a W-2 job, if you're having a bad day, you gotta stay until five o'clock or whenever your day ends, you know? You don't have that luxury. So if you feel like you can swing it and financially it's not going to hurt you, take the day for yourself. You know, sometimes taking a personal day is all right. I, you know, I used to be, you know, under the, uh, the mantra of, you know, no days off, work every day, put in 11 to 12 hours. And you know, at, it was it was okay for the first year, year and a half of doing that, you know, working on holidays, you know, being uh, distant from my friends and family. I, I lost some friends from, from working so much, you know? But the thing is, you have to take time for yourself every once in a while, because otherwise you're gonna burn yourself out. And if you're having a bad day like this, you know, and dealing with nasty customers and stuff, something else you need to remind yourself. If a customer is being nasty to you, it is usually not your fault. That person may just be really miserable. They may have a lot of hardships going on in their life. They may be uh, in a financial situation. Uh, you know, they may have just gotten out of a relationship or something or having family issues or, or, or health issues or anything. And they're taking it out on you. You know, and unfortunately in, in any kind of job, I always take everything very personally. You know, I've always been like that and I'm always striving to be better than that. Because again, you're a stranger to that customer. So the what is the point of them getting mad at you? There isn't any point. It's just the fact is they're having a bad day and they're taking it out on you. And that is something you need to remember. Um, it, I, I'm not saying it's okay for people to walk all over you, but 
it's definitely not worth maybe losing your job over, you know, maybe accidentally slipping and saying something back and then they report you and then you get deactivated or something because they consider that a, a like a verbal, you know, uh, you know, altercation or something like that. And that could be grounds for deactivation. So sometimes it's better to just log off, go home and maybe go back out again later or just take the day for yourself. That's what I would recommend. Um, so what do you guys think? Dashers, drivers, what do you do in these situations? Let us know in the chat or the comments. And if you guys ever want to send me anything, a, uh, a comment, a topic, an article, a story, a question, whatever, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com is the best place to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link's in the description down below. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Um, if you guys sign up, what I will do is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm going to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, Hey Pete, I heard my name. Uh, we've got, uh, Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Jenny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of you. Really appreciate it. And with that being said, everybody, uh, if you guys want to sign up, links are down below, like I said. Who's going to be the next patron? I don't know. Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And I hope every single one of you guys out there is saving lots of money with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone. And uh, it's very simple to get. It's free. Scroll down this page in the description. Click on the link that says Get the Free Gas app. You click on there. Uh, it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone or device you have. And then from there, what you do at that point is... You go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description. Make sure to download it today, everybody. And of course, if you guys want one of these, comment 111 if you smash the like, which you should have done already. Uh, T-shirts, you can get your own at paidtodrivestore.com. Uh, we have lots of new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paytodrivestore.com. Links down below for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for you all. Let me know by leaving a comment saying END342, END342 down below. Just lets me know you made it to the end. And of course, don't forget to hit that uh, free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, Hit that like down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Later.